Erica is our adopted daughter and she's also our niece. My brother's wife had a fair. Out of that fair, Erica was born. She was a wonderful little girl. I made sure Erica always got treated just like one of my other kids. I do believe we were the model parents and all of our kids' needs were met. About two years ago when Erica was 13, I got a chat off of social media from a lady saying that she was Erica's biological grandmother, Irene Goodman, on her father's side. I wanted Erica to have a connection with her biological family, but I was very hesitant at first. She insisted, call me Nan, my other granddaughter calls me Nan. After two months of conversations, we agreed to meet Nan. Erica developed a very special relationship with her grandmother. She wanted to call her all the time, talk to her all the time, be with her. I didn't get involved with Nan or getting to know Nan. When my wife makes decisions about the kids, I trust her wholeheartedly. After knowing Nan for just a couple months, Erica was ready to go live with Nan. It's been a year and a half since I spoke with Nan and my daughter. I do not fear anything's happened to Erica. Erica is fine. I don't have a doubt in my mind. Erica's not missing. Erica is with Nan. I told my wife not to worry. This would all be over if Nan or Erica would just pick the phone up and call. Erica's older brother, Jamie, is the one who finally alerted police that his sister has not been seen or heard from by anyone for almost two years. And when he called the police, Casey and Sandy say their son made a shocking claim. According to them, he said they killed Erica. Take a look at this. Two weeks ago, we got a call from our 20-year-old son, Jamie, stating that he loved us. This is he told me, I just love you, and, uh, whatever happens. And I didn't know what it meant. Two hours later, the police showed up at our home. The police said that Jamie had contacted them and had told them that Erica was dead. My son said that I killed Erica and chopped her up put her in the backyard. It was just mind blowing. For two days, I was questioned by the police. The police said there was no way that we had given her to Nan. We had fabricated the name. The police said that we had sold her. We starved her. We didn't feed her. Honestly, I feel like I'm, I'm in this nightmare. Everything I've been accused of is a lie. It's a living hell. I can't breathe. I can't eat. People need to know the full story.